Vinny and Abby. Hello, Dan. Dan Reichert. Hello, I'm playing Grip colon Combat Racing. So, I, okay. Go on. I have played the early access of this. Okay, up from like two years ago, right? Yeah, and like my son really liked it, so I've really? played a bunch of it, and it was... It was loose. It was it was pretty rough yeah. at times in the early access. Like, but I liked. I never played Roll Cage, right? Which, which is the game that I think this is kind of the spiritual successor to. Yeah, ninety nine PlayStation yeah. game, flipping never, cars upside down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I never played that, but I really liked what was going on here. But the map, the tracks, and stuff. Some of the stuff didn't feel super great. Uh, so Vinny, I'm, very, I'm very curious to see where this has come. Vinny, this is the first we've talked about this game, and uh, I feel exactly the same. Uh, In I the love final the version? I'm a big arcade racer fan, yeah. uh, especially of that like kind of late 90s, early 2000s era, like Rumble Racing and all that stuff, Connecticut. Um, this one, I appreciate what it's trying to do. I don't know if it necessarily works for okay. reasons you described. So let's go ahead. Uh, well, you're playing here on the Xbox. This game is, what, 40 bucks across the board except on PC? Where it's thirty? Uh, that is correct. It's okay. uh, yeah, it's on sale for twenty seven on Steam right now. It's yeah. forty bucks on Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Okay. Uh, All right. So I'll hop in. Uh, maybe I won't do a whole campaign here. Well, let's go into a. I'll explain the campaign, and then I'll just do a, a single race here. Uh, so the campaign is pretty bare bones. It's got those tiers on the left there. Yeah. And so like tier one is these are three separate tournaments. So like this is like three speed demon races, which is just like straightforward racing stuff. Point to point. Uh, yeah. The, that's another speed demon times three. That's like try to kind of ease you into the weapons and all that okay. stuff. Uh, and then as you as you go up, you start seeing stuff like Ultimate Race, which is something that like factors in. It's like a point-based thing where, you know, first place gets the most points, but also you can earn points during the race by attacking people with, with weapons and things like that. So it's not... You, you can get first place and lose. Okay. That. And then you've got some straight-up like Twisted Metal stuff here. So we'll show some of the different modes here in uh, in the single race. Wait, so there is... It is not point-to-point stuff. It is laps always, right? Yes. Okay. I, I have not seen any like full-on, hey, like, here's point A to point okay. B long. I, not yet, if, if those exist. It's got the elimination thing. You see this in Burnout and some other games where it's like, oh, mm -hmm. every once in a while the last place blows up. Uh, let's do one of those ultimate races first. So the oh boy, yeah. Did they just flip upside down. Uh, oh, oh, there's a lot of flip upside down. Wow. So clever. that's the hook, right? And we'll see that in a second. Oh, just yeah. like Mario Kart Eight. Yes, a lot of the driving up on walls yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, they're the same. I don't <laughs> like the UI for this game. So the, so the UI was way worse in early access. Oh yeah, uh, but I was just gonna say, it looks like they cleaned up the UI a bit in some of this. It's still rough, man. Seems it's a little like, rough. A lot of it is just like too much information, confusingly laid out. Mm. Uh, you know, the tutorial doesn't explain some pretty major elements of the game. This is looking pretty dark here. <laughs> so if you hit it right at go, you'll get a little boost. All right, I'm gonna push it up the brightness at all. Does that look dark to you? Uh, it I, looks okay on my end. It I, looks like a night. Race, yeah, but. yeah. Hard for me to tell what the night race is supposed to look like. Okay, I'm, I'm going to bump it up a little bit on this TV okay. just so I can see a little bit better here. I'll go up to 110. How about that? Okay. Is that good? Okay. All right, so you see that uh, that green bar down there? I need to double check all these console settings too after Extra Life. I feel like everything is yeah, that's dark as shit. Um, that green bar down there, that is my turbo. So I can hold in Y to okay. the turbo boost. And that just kind of like automatically goes up quite a bit. Uh, so there are jumps. You can do jumps. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of going upside down. Is on it the, pretty on the walls. forgiving? It seems like you kind of um, didn't hit that straight on, but it seemed fine. Well, the thing that is tricky about it is that very frequently you will just hit something weird and it'll send your car into kind of a little tizzy uh -huh. and then you'll go from like last place to first or right at the end of a thing like you could do everything right and then just like one oh, you thing mean first place to last i'm sorry yes yeah, yes going for, uh, oh my god i can't see shit. um so here i'll hit this ramp and we'll hope things work whoa you, that you did have, not look like a ramp to me you that looked like a do not go here <laughs> thing you have a, a degree of air control though, right yes so if you lay off the throttle you can do some air control uh, that's a minigun I'm shooting right now. You see those points I'm getting? Yeah. So those are going to head towards my ultimate race thing. So yeah, there's a little bit of air control, but man, it, it's real easy to just hit some geometry or a jump weirdly. Right. And just to get totally screwed. Also, this thing, this very nondescript thing, is the lap marker. Oh. Uh, but you I, can go around it. You don't have to yeah, go it. it's just, it's really boring looking. I wish it was <laughs> more, just put a flag or something a little more visually uh, arresting there. It's just this weird hut. Um... Again, the idea is really sound here, and I appreciate that they're trying to do a, a follow-up or spiritual successor to Roll Cage. Um, I don't think it works most of the time, mm. because oh, ah, that that's definitely uh -oh. a do-not-go-there thing. Because um, I feel like it discourages you from actually doing the gimmick, you know? Like, 
You play a roll cage game, you want to drive up on the ceiling and stuff. I What's rarely... This? What is this? Oh, what, am I driving through one of those? Like, there are some weird areas of the map that are like, oh, there's a lot of, like, electrical interference and it'll, like, oh. cause issues with your HUD and stuff like that. These are speed boosts. So, right, you want, you want to drive on a ceiling and race race in front of somebody, take a shortcut. Right, that's the hook of the game. And I, when I see jumps or shortcuts or anything, more often than not, because I've been burned enough times, I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, the the thing that I love, and it took me a second to realize why there was a big problem with this game for me mentally. Yeah. Like, uh, getting on board with it at first. It's, it's just not how tires work. Oh, this is not a realistic <laughs> racing if you, game. If you, if you flip the <laughs> car over, you're going the other way. Oh, it's a <laughs> tropical forest. You know. Oh, I see what you're saying. The tires themselves. Ah, I never thought of that. You're probably right. <laughs> Yeah, but this is the future. <laughs> yeah, Danny. yeah. They immediately stop and go the other way. Yeah, yeah. They they know there are sensors. It's a gyro, whatever a gyromite. Um, gyromite. He's yeah, he's your driver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to like this more than I do. Again, it's it's a genre I think is underrepresented these days. I mean, in the 360 era, you had your your blurs and your split seconds, which were in your full autos, which eh, disappointed me more often than not. Uh, I feel like we're past the heyday of arcade racing. Although you know, Nintendo with Mario Kart. Still does a pretty bang up job with yeah. those games. I, I think They're there's, a difference. Better. I think there's yeah. a difference between kart racing though and combat arcade racing. That's there true. is, but when I'm looking at like racing and I'm shooting shit and, like homing missiles and stuff like this, this is like a the more adult Mario Kart. I feel like I think of it like a wipeout game. Yeah, which you know I kind of put wipeout in a similar ish. Wow, category. you guys are just both wrong. That's amazing how wrong both of you are. What? I mean, you put wipeout in and Mario Kart together. No, I'm put saying I put this with wipeout more than I put it with Mario Kart. Oh, thank you. Where yeah. I would say that arcade racers and kart racers share a lot of elements. Yes, they both have tires. Right, and racing. In the case of wipeout, I guess they don't. You got items. You got to toss. You got a first place. Slicks. You got a second place. Yeah. Uh... Oh, see, I just went from first to fourth. Why are you second. looking behind you? Oh, that's like the final. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's disorienting. <laughs> uh, at the very end, it looks like Riggs uh, got some points ahead of me there. Yeah, I, I, for me, I think there is where you put the focus. Like Mario Kart doesn't really put the focus on the racing, whereas I feel like something like this. It's still a racing game. I mean, they're racing games with weapons. Like Aesthetically, I would say they're completely different, obviously. Yeah. Tone-wise and everything. Mm -hmm. But like, there's a lot of things in common. There's some. You're racing cars and shooting things at Mario, other cars trying to get first place. Mario Kart's a game of chance. Oh, don't fucking start There's with that shit. There's some skill in Mario Kart. There is, there is, there is, there is nothing, some skill. Nothing is, but skill. There is some skill in Mario there is Kart. nothing but skill. Uh, do you want to try a split Yeah, screen? I definitely do. All right. <laughs> let's try a, Let's try a race thing, uh, and then maybe we'll try... What I miss? What's that? Blur. Blur is pretty good. Bl Blur was the, the perfect synergy, I feel like, between arcade racer and kart racer. Bl yeah, Blur did a really good job there. Let's do a classic. Did it classic. blur the lines between genres? Uh, blurred their financial lines. Hell Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, hell no. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many races you can do, or how many laps. 150 laps. That's too many laps. 20. Let's do three. Okay. Uh, we'll do is there. Combatants. Okay, so you've got engine power all the way up. Uh, yeah, let's go to. Destructible Rez. vehicles. Put that on. Uh, yes, please. That would be like a permanent destruct. Uh -huh. All right, let's go ahead and uh, race. I'll, I'll show the garage real quick. So this is player one. Yeah, you unlock uh, new cars as you level up. There's an XP bar you can see at the bottom. I'm close to level or getting uh, the bandit there. Uh, yeah, you unlock paint jobs, tires that uh, seem to be just aesthetic. Um, not a whole lot of customization. Like mm. you can do the, the paint color and all that shit. Do like, they have like a DLC for these cosmetic stuff? I, I think when I was looking up the price, there were packs you can get for like bundles of different digital cars. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it's just completely is it me? Up. Oh wait, it probably wants you to do it. Yeah. yeah. I haven't done two player yet. Um, yeah. And there's like a pre-order, uh, you know, gold cars and stuff like that. Ooh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. You're right. Too many wheels. <laughs> yeah, that's like your average. huh? That guy just goes fast, but the can't, tempest. but can't stop. What, oh, is, what is a tempest? Is it a, a wind? Tempest? I think it's like a storm. Okay. Okay, so we'll do a classic race, uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, do that. Look at that. So, right trigger go, left trigger break, uh, X is your handbrake, uh, Y is your boost, A is this little oh, Rocket boy. League hop sometimes when it works. 
Did Twisted Metal ever ever do get into just race combat racing? No, there was a oh, Monaco arena. There was a Monaco stage on Twisted Metal head on for PSP that was set on a racetrack, but you are still just still shooting okay. fire missiles at each other. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's on which side? I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the left. I'm on the right. Okay. And Vinny, you run over the green orbs to get to your pickups, and then those two circles in the bottom left, yeah. those represent LB and RB. Those right. Are, you can kind of double dash and pick and choose what uh, what items. I did like the, I, if I remember correctly, the shield in this game was kind of cool. The your, back shield? On the one that goes on your butt? Shield. Yeah, the yeah. back shield was kind of cool. I will say, I don't like the look of these maps. They yeah. seem like so much open dead space. Yeah. I, I just don't like the aesthetics of this game, really. How do you fire no. your weapon? Uh, oh. So, yeah, it'd be LB if it's on the left, RB Good if it's work, on the mini. right. Thank you. Can you stop the minigun once it's going? No, it's just, it just goes. Uh, what if I go this way? Uh, you go where you want. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if you get screwed, you can hold in the back or whatever the stupid hamburger menu Xbox One button it is um, yeah. to get back on the track. That's a little tough to kind of get your bearings back. Yeah. Yeah. This is a disorienting game. Which you have to expect a certain amount of that in a game like this where you're going upside down and yeah. all around, but like it's too much in this one. I feel like so much of my time with this game has been just like trying to get back on course. Yeah. I like I said, I enjoyed playing it with my kids just because it's you go fun in the car you go fast and the cars go flying. Yeah. Uh, that, that's enjoyable. Like, it's not a broken game by any means. It's fine. What is? It's just, you know what? I bet this is a, this looks like it's a quantum uh, attack, which I've been doing the campaign mode, oh. which is gradually introducing, like, now there are hydro missiles. So I that see. must be an attack that I have not seen yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, this isn't broken. Mm -hmm. And if you're, like, way into Roll Cage, you know, it'd be worth checking out. But uh, overall, I just don't think it really kind of delivers on the promise of, of what gets you in the door. Uh, when you're playing it, which modes do you think are the big draw for it? Um, I think the ultimate race is a good one uh, because that, uh, you know, you can just really lean on combat stuff and not purely on first, second, third. So even if you do get screwed at the mm -hmm. end or get thrown off, you know, if you've been blowing up cars the entire time, you're, you're going to be fine. What's boost? Uh, why? Why is your turbo? I like most games with ramps in them. Yeah. And, and it's still fun to hit ramps in this game. <laughs> As far as ramp games go, though, there are better ramp games than this. San Francisco Rush still may be the king of the ramp game. Mm. Rush 2049, specifically. Your cars have wings. Carmageddon. Carmageddon's all right. Fucking Twisted Metal 1 on the PlayStation Classic, not Twisted Metal 2. Fucking Jesus. Wave Race. What do they do? Wave Race is fun. Jet Moto. Jet Moto's got okay ramps. Yeah. Uh, uh, 50 cent blood on the ground. Oh, blood in the sand. Blood in the sand, of course, of course. Big ass ramps. Uh, so what's turn signal on? What is that? <laughs> that must mean uh, there's a lock on. It looks like someone's locked onto us oh. with the uh, weapons. Uh-oh. It's okay. Everything's fine Yeah, here. you made it through. Wow, the... when you start going upside down, it, it gets funny. <laughs> yeah, it does. Doesn't... What place am I in? Oh, you seven. You were in seven, right. yeah. That's not bad. No. I've oh, been in eight. worse. A lot of GTA stunt jumps are fun. Yeah. It goes into slow-mo. Get a nice cinematic view. Burnout. Oh, get, getting those billboards. I, I yeah, SSX think. jumps count. SSX has some great ramps. Yeah, different genre, yeah. but definitely as far as ramps go, it's it's way up there. Up to your ramps. Yeah. Ooh, good, good moves, Vinny. Thanks. Boy, I don't like that attack at all. What the fuck? Okay. God, I hate these maps sometimes. Time for me seeing, to pick it up. You guys turned on the damage, right? I feel like I don't see it. We turned on destructible cars, so it looks like uh, that percentage... So Vinny's at 37% destroyed. Oh, but 30. you don't actually see it on the car. Oh, God. Uh, nope. Oh, God. Something went wonky. Yeah, I think we'll just blow up if we hit 100. I'm sitting on this minigun waiting for someone to pass me. You, you finished the race? I'm done, yeah. Look at me. <laughs> you got a laser target on you there. Yeah, sure do. Boost. First person? There we go. Oh, yeah. You're a first-person racer? No. It's crazy. Not, uh, it depends on the game. If I have a racing wheel, sometimes I will. <laughs> I used to. Uh, I was just... I'm sorry to interrupt. But I think this game just did a thing where when you finished, it just went, you came it, seventh. It does do that. It I, took so long for the number to come up. It's just this big splash because I was like, you came. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed that, too. It's like there should be an announcer being like, you came. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good work, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a death match. Okay. Okay. Uh, are we still in two-player? I assume. Are you still in here? 
I assume. Where did it? Maybe split screen from the split oh, screen? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, hop on in. All right, I'm in. And then we'll go to the death match. The bomb. And uh, time limit, five minutes. That okay. sounds good. Do you want to go down to Number three? Number of comba combatants, five. Okay. Five combatants, three minutes. Yeah. Maybe that's uh, too few, but... Wild we'll engine. Ooh. Yeah, I love wild engines. All right. Let's do it. Did you just put it on wild immediately? Uh, pretty quick. Okay. I did one or two races on Does normal. Does that just mean faster? I yeah. think it's like 150 cc. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. They're low normal wild. <laughs> not yeah. the most intuitive. Yeah. No. Vegeta. I came better once I went wild. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> just talking about grip combat uh, racing, yeah. man. I know you're talking about your grip. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Benny. Come on. Grow up. <laughs> All right, so you get it. This is Twisted Metal, but not as good. Just drive around and shoot cars. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wanted a... Minigun. And again, with the Mario Kart comparison, this yeah. is just battle mode. All right, the balloons and... Right. Although, just, is this like Mario Kart where no one plays the battle mode? <laughs> Ah, some people love the battle mode. Back okay. on Super Nintendo, I love battle. I mode. don't mind the one with the cops and the piranha plant, or like the free oh, yeah. people cops? from the jail. Like the that was fun. Piranha plant, uh, cops. Yeah, it's like a cops and robbers thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is news to me. Oh uh, well, I'm a real Mario Kart fan. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like the lock-ons are weird too. Also, with the homing missile, yeah. I don't know how many times I have shot the missile and it's gone directly into the ground in front of me and hurt me. <laughs> it happens that all is the time. so funny. Uh, it's probably happened as many times <laughs> as I've hit my opponent. And I don't know how to fix that. Uh, let's see. I have got one. Oh, man, everybody moves so quickly. Though. There you go. I like, if you're aiming straight forward on flat ground, the yeah. missiles will work fine. But this game has so much just kind of topsy-turvy up, up and down that a lot of times it's just like, oh, do you want to shoot yourself? Cool. Here you go. You know, I'm not a huge fan of in any game is, and I know sometimes it's tough because there are buttons that you need to use, but I right. don't. I don't like using the trigger buttons with my middle fingers. I uh, I've had that thought too. Uh, oh, you have to do that for this game? Well, yeah, because you have to do the the bumpers and the oh, triggers. Like you no. constantly have to do the triggers yeah, for driving. For driving. And so, like, I know that they've been called bumpers because you're supposed to be able to kind of bump them with your finger while it's on the trigger, but that um, never feels right. So yeah. I have four fingers up top all That's the time. That's right. For this game too, because you want to keep your finger on the throttle a lot. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it does feel weird. Uh, I just, there are some other games that have done that in the past, and I've just never, I've never felt right playing like that. I want to say there are customizable control oh, I options. Bet. I, bet. Uh, I, I bet there's a way around it, but this is the default. It's not necessarily a criticism of just this game, it's just the yeah, in criticism general. of uh, games in general. Yes. Hello. Oh, uh, well, I am doing terrible. You broke glass. I did. You're in second place, Vinny. Oh? We got 30 seconds left. Oh, look at this kingdom I have found here. Like, a lot of these complaints that we have, I don't know if they'll necessarily come through uh, just watching it. It's There's a feel to it that just feels off. So I can kind of tell yeah, watching it. It feels yeah. a little loose. It's very loosey-goosey. The camera's not great. Getting turned around happens a lot. It's uh, It's got issues. Yeah. I, like, I feel like for a game that's going for, like, like full on balls to the wall. Here we go. Um, I think, like like you said, the uh, like you said, the penalizing you. Yes. Like oh, I want a full. On, I know we're playing on wild, so that's probably a pretty fast uh, experience. But when I played it in the early access as well, you you're going. You want you just want to land and have sick jumps and do a bunch of stuff and hold the trigger down almost the entire totally. time. I want to be boosting and flipping and ramping all the fucking time. Yeah. I don't want to be afraid of those things. Yeah, and maybe there's a curve on it that I never got to. That was like, well, once you break through that curve, you can be pretty badass and technical at it. But I just want to go really fast and flip the car around a lot. Totally. And well, be on the ceiling. Like there's some stuff even in um, what's the one that Jeff loves the, uh, the uh, Trackmania. Yeah, in Trackmania where you're flipping over and doing stuff but you it's crazy and I, I think I want a little bit of that here mm -hmm. I know it's not this game but well there is this mode here if you like flipping around car, called car, car core car core, <laughs> car core is pretty good mm -hmm. um, so I'm on wild uh, so yeah this is some fucking monkey ball shit here um, let's, let's go here I'll, I'll show this one off I the breakout mode uh, no I love monkey ball shit and I love this idea um this doesn't control well enough to make this fun, I don't think. Monkey ball shit. 
I love monkey ball it shit. It is disgusting. Monkey ball shit you is delightful. You think they delightful. shit in those monkey balls? <laughs> no, they don't shit. No, I, I've do. never taken a shit in his life. He's just eating bananas, yeah, where rolling those, around. Where do those bananas go? <laughs> They're wearing diapers sometimes. The baby is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that proves my point, because some aren't. Well, the diaper doesn't necessarily mean he's pooping. What does it mean? It's a fashion. He's a, ba- it means a, fashion, he's a, ba- he's a baby. He's a baby. He's a fucking right. baby. Oh, uh, they're just stinking up those balls. No, they're not. How come they don't die in there? Is that just a submarine? <laughs> Monkey ball is not a realistic game, Vinny. Well, can they come out of the balls? Isn't it just like they're uh, in the balls during the tournament and then they get out? They stay in there quite a long time. I think there might be cutscenes, definitely in Monkey Ball Adventure, where maybe they get out of the balls. In Sonic Racing, I, I is uh, Ooh, driving the car. So. Perfect. In, uh, and not in a ball. He's in a car? Oh, yeah. That's a huge oversight. Put him in a fucking ball. Uh, he wouldn't be able to keep up. He's a monkey ball. No. So, Carcore, you get it. It's this type of stunt this, thing. This is like, uh, this seems Black. a lot like uh, Trackmania. I could see that, yeah. It's, it, there's not a lot of them. I'll show you uh, how many they've got here. I also just, I have not found them particularly clever or interesting mm. or, or good when it comes to this type of stuff. And I, and I love shit like this. Uh, again, I just think it's, the game is a bit too loosey goosey to, to pull this off. Let's try Squiggle. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Monkey uh-huh. ball. Uh-huh. This doesn't seem fun, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> it just seems like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seems, uh, no. Oh, stressful. No. Yeah. It almost seems like it, you're just replaying the max pain part where you have to walk across the beams. <laughs> Uh, I can't see. I don't know. There's there's something to the, trying to what? Rah. Yeah, <laughs> some trial like shit trials. Like trials. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's something there. I mean, I like that this is there. Uh, I don't oh, think it's the that's best. not. Yeah, it's fair. Some good. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, I, yeah, I, this game seems very similar to what I played in early access. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I think there is there are ideas here, and it's a nice attempt at a spiritual successor. But overall. I would consider myself disappointed by this. Hmm. Um, but hey, if you're a big uh, Rural Cage fan, you know I've seen people like Danny O'Dwyer tweeting about how excited they are for this. I, yeah. I, I hope it delivers for those people. But uh, eh, for me, who maybe rented Rural Cage once or twice, um, this is not up there as far as my arcade racer experiences go. Some people will be very happy about this. I th- yes. I think. I'm happy for them. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, guys.